Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Active brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin. We're looking at Palantir once again. This is one of the hot topics in all of Fintwit right now. Now, the most interesting thing to me is that we did get what looks like a volume spike today, but it did not have a crazy day. So a volume spike, if you don't know, obviously don't because I built this for myself, is when the volume today is the highest of the past 10 days and is above the 10 day average of the volume. So like today was 88 million shares traded. Yesterday was 87 million shares traded. You can tell they're both higher than any of the previous 10 days and the average, um, which is fantastic because you had some big volume days in the beginning of June. It's just really interesting because it was down today and being down today is essentially like, I don't know, not a big deal because when I look at Palantir, what I can see is I see that volatility is falling. And actually what's different, oh, so this will be really interesting to see because what you can see here, this is volatility. So it takes a while for this actual, like, you know, the price name or the if statement essentially that's built it to tell me specifically if volatility is falling or not. What I can see though, is that volatility is actually starting to rise and started to rise on the 13th of July, which is really fascinating because we've essentially had on the future path, the price to rise for a while here. So it looks like we're gonna get a reset of some volatility. I do wanna take a look at that. Let's just look at the volatility real quick because I think this is gonna help set it in. So this is the volatility put in graph form that we were just talking about. It looks like it completely reset, now starting to rise. So the volatility is breaking back out and the correlation is still very negative. What's interesting is that the correlation is still incredibly negative and the price while the volatility is breaking up didn't really move. But but that's because the volatility is so low. So what we want to see over the next day or so is we want to actually see this blue bar start to kind of like build its, you know, like reverse hill. We want to see it kind of build up to being positive again while this volatility is breaking out because then we'll get some really big moves in Palantir probably coming soon. Looking back at the raw data, if we do get that, I will definitely be paying attention. And this is probably a really good place to buy some Palantir because if you get a volatility breakout and a correlation breakout, that's when you're going to be able to jump to like 25 bucks in like a week. And it's going to like scare people, but it can happen because if there's anybody who's short, they're going to get toasted if that derivative it continues to work the way that it is. When we look though at the one day, five day, 15 day, one month, three month, and six month, we were essentially like, yeah, you might want to say today was negative, but was it really? No. It's positive across the board essentially. And we look at the overall trade signal on the short term, intermediate term, and longer term, we're go long. So if you believe in all three, you want to swing for the fences. It's like when a fat pitch comes down the down the plate, just give it your all. Just give it your all. And like even when we're looking at the overall trend indicator here, we can see the short term, intermediate term, and longer term, we do have all bullish. And it's fascinating because it's short term bullish too, which means that the shorter term is more bullish than the longer term. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's been bullish since when? Again, I'd like to see two of them. It's been bullish since $9.88 on May 11th. That was a good day. That would have been a great day to be up over 100% right now. I mean, again, I don't pay attention to my signals all the time because I only pay attention to what's on the most active when it comes to this show. But most of the time, I'm just buying breakouts myself that I do with the new high newsletter, which you can always subscribe to at uh, bootlegmacro.beehive.com forward slash subscribe. But this part of it, really, when I look at the sentiment, is kind of interesting because right now we are getting a new rising bull inside of Palantir. Here, and this sentiment is actually still below its 15 day moving average and it's above the 50%. Now this indicator usually wants to be around 50%. It's kind of like a mean reversion, kind of like the equilibrium. Think of it like the yin and the yang where bullishness and bearish just meet is, you know, it just keeps it, just keeps it kind of tight right there. And this indicator is showing you that the bullishness is either starting to stay the same and the average is going to slowly get a little bit lower than it. Or this is the beginning of something where we can go higher. And even here we're at 58% versus 57. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. Let's go back, let's go back and just look at some of these charts overall. It looks like from the overall chart, it looks like we've really hit a nice spot. This is one of those days where I don't know if people were getting out or people were getting in, but something happened where like this just made it so this is kind of like a nothing day. It was a plateau. When we look at this daily sentiment, ooh. That looks nice because the daily sentiment we can see is starting to break back above that 15 day moving average. This is the daily. This is 57%. I would like for it to come back down around 50%, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. And when it's a bull market, people just want to let that boy run. And Palantir here, even with the volume, the volume is definitely coming back. And that makes sense that these were two volume spike days, um, that they were above the 15 day moving average and they were significantly higher. So that's good to see. We already talked about the volatility, the correlation, the trade range. Now the trade range has done something interesting. You saw that it had the small volatility here in March and April and like uh, May, which that's when you're going to see the small volatility here. This would be March and April and May. The small volatility usually leads to an expansion of volatility. And this sometimes, boys and girls, when you get a big expansion of volatility, this could be 
the small expansion of volatility, and now we can see a massive move higher. I don't know if it's going to be 25, 30. It could be 19. I don't know. But it is really interesting to see, and I'm very curious about what's going to happen in Palantir. But do yourself a favor. Subscribe to the New High Newsletter. We send you 25 stocks breaking out every single Sunday at 9 a.m. Just go to bootlegmacro.beehive.com forward slash subscribe and sign up for free. I'll talk to you soon.